Hello viewers. Have you ever thought about the worst possible instrument you could build? Well, today I will convert this 3D printed siren into an instrument to annoy all my neighbors. It uses an Arduino Micro as um, a MIDI interface to generate PPM signals for a standard hobby ESC and um, it could be used with any MIDI program you like. Well, I will now measure some frequencies and the corresponding PPM values. I have a list with uh, MIDI notes and frequencies, a simple test program to generate PPM for my ESC, a scope to measure the actual value if it matches up, a simple um, spectrum analyzer app to measure the dominant frequency. So I will now measure each node and write down the corresponding PPM value. Well, I will now put it to, well, uh, 155 hertz. It's 1061 uh, milliseconds, uh, microseconds. It's also what I measure on the scope. So those values match up and I can probably uh, write it down and uh, use it maybe on a different, uh, well, uh, use it maybe on a different uh, controller. Well, I guess I have to change my plans a bit. I wanted to try using a DigiSpark as a MIDI device and generate the PPM signal for my ESC. It's not a very hard task, but the USB communications uh, would use quite a bit of power and I've now managed to generate a servo signal in software because um, it won't work with hardware timers on this tiny chip and as you can see it looks absolutely terrible. The pulse should be around 990 microseconds long but it fluctuates all around the place and when I turn on my pot this should be more than 2000 microseconds but it's way shorter and it doesn't seem to have a stable timing as well when I turn on my motor No, this will never work. But my original plan was anyways to use an Arduino Micro and I guess I will try this next. But let's print the base first. Well, it looks like the base is finished. So, oh, it's loose. 
All right, let's move on then. I've now finished measuring all my nodes. The voltage is fixed to 10 volts because I'm not using a closed loop controller and the speed of my motor is dependent on the load and voltage. Um, I ported my code, similar to my floppy music one, to an Arduino Micro because the Digi Spark won't work and I need something with USB. Um, so, well, now let's test it. <laughs> 